this is so funny how um people assume you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Now, um I looked it up. There's more than one glorious battle. It's the same guy. Uh two different channels. I don't know if it's a clone of this guy or it's not a clone of this guy. I went to the page where the whole background is white and I looked and it's the same videos. So it doesn't matter if the man's channel has been clone channel or not. The videos are the same. He's just taking the videos and putting them over on the other, you know, just you know, how you put it in your favorites and you and you uh feature one. That's the only thing that the this person that's uh spoofing this guy is doing. But whatever I said in that video, it stands. Nothing has changed. Um he might be genius, he might not be genius. I don't like to do videos twice. This is the second time I've had to do this video right here. So the message is missing. So I gotta re invent the message and the message is this you can't teach a black man how to be black if you want to go by getting a sister belittling a black man is not the way to do it you can't tell a group of people how to better themselves when you've lived on the side of the fence that benefited from those other people being held back disrespected mistreated raped and murdered in other words no white man who's ever benefited from anything any black man has ever done can tell a black man how to be a black man or a man in general. What I want to say is this. Don't teach me how to be a better black man. Teach me how to be a better human being. See, a human. I want to be a better human. You can't teach me how to get a black woman. I have one of those. You can't teach me how to get a white woman. I've had plenty of those. You can't teach me as a man anything. You can't get a black woman with the tactics in which I saw you. Can't get a black woman like that. And if any black woman listens to you over her own feelings, she's not a black woman. She's probably some little girl on stupid. So, glorious battle. The words still remain the same. You can't teach shit to a group of people that you benefited from when they were downtrodden, enslaved, and beaten. You were you, were you gonna just erase all that shit? You can't. You can't teach people shit when you haven't walked 15 minutes of 15 inches of 15 seconds in their shoes you can't teach nobody black nothing not about being black not about being with a black person not about loving another black person you can't teach that from the spot you sit in you can't teach that from the skin you dwell in you can't teach that from the mindset you've been raised with. I always ask this of white people. All white people. Especially those who want to be my friend. Those who are considered my friends. And those who believe they're my friends. I always ask them. How do you feel when somebody treats somebody black wrong? What do you say when somebody treats somebody black wrong? Do you stand up for this person that's different than you? Knowing by standing up, you go against your own people? And faced with going against your own people, how many times have you went against your own people? How many times have you sat there and heard somebody spout negativities about a different race or different people and said nothing? How many times did you turn the cheek? Most of them like, man, I most of my life. The honest ones tell the truth. I just don't say something. I just don't say nothing sometimes. I just walk away. I had a friend. 
he went to one of those mechanic schools, you know, on TV to become a mechanic. I'm not going to say which kind of mechanic he became, but he was top-notch, head of his class, a white man. He gets a job, dream job. The dream job of his lifetime. He gets the job, and they're listening to the radio and, you know, at work, and everybody's commenting on the story or whatever happens on the radio, and he comments. This is his dream job. And the man said, man, you sound like a damn nigger lover. He said to himself, because he told me he said to himself, damn, what the hell do I do? He finished the rest of the day out, and then he quit. He told them that something happened to his family, and he had to leave his job. Sorry, I can't come back. The main reason he quit is because his daughter is black. He quit because of that. You sound like a nigger lover. You're damn right. I can't believe in this day and age that you know you got to hear this. And he quit. Not dissing these people, disrespecting these people, motherfucker. Flipping out, going to his dark side. He didn't go to his dark side. He packed up his stuff after the end of the day. Next morning, he made that phone call. He did not go back. He could have jumped bad and went off on these dudes. And then, when he tries to go get a job someplace else with this great education he just went and paid good money for, you got somebody, oh, this is that one. There are several white people out there that do stand up for brothers and sisters. But they don't tell brothers and sisters how to be brothers and sisters. This man, in this day and age, earning what he was earning, he earned good money for about a month. He walked away. He walked away because he knew he was in a situation to where he would blow up and his dark side would, would overwhelm everybody standing away. But he walked away. You've been too. Said, you've been two again, glorious battle. <laughs>